Hi, and welcome to History's a Blast. Today, we're actually having a blast. That's the Huntington Furnace behind me. And this is by way of introduction to this video, which is History's Where You Find It in Huntington County. Huntington Furnace made pig iron that was turned into wrought iron nearby at a place called Coleraine Forge. And then that wrought iron was shipped all the way to Pittsburgh, and we're talking about back in the early 19th century here, to be turned into all kinds of iron uh, implements like nails and uh, sheet and other things at a rolling mill in what is today Pittsburgh's Strip District. Schoenberger was the name. And uh, with that, I'll let you look that up. On the east side of Huntington, under the Pennsylvania Route 26 bridge, we have the arches of the original Pennsylvania Railroad bridge over Standing Stone Creek. And it was replaced by the bridge in the distance there after the canal was taken over by the railroad and the railroad was able to move over there on a straighter alignment. But here it is, the original 1850s bridge coming into Huntington. On the way to Altoona and the future horseshoe curve. Beautiful structure has somehow survived. There under the arches of the new and current railroad bridge that carries the Norfolk Southern now over Standing Stone Creek is the Juniata River. And Somewhere at the junction of Standing Stone and the Juniata was Standing Stone Fort, which was built during the American Revolution to protect local settlers from the depredations of the British allied Native Americans. So there's a little bit of history right there from the 1700s and the 1800s here on the east end of Huntington. I was last here when you were about 70 years old. Nineteen thirty six Duesenberg. It's a doozy. There's the cockpit. Well, this is one of Dad's favorite cars. The cord, the grill on these things was beautiful. Exhaust <laughs> coming out the side. God. Looking in there. Oh my, look at that. Beautiful. Here's a Tucker. 1947 prototype. Here's the 1948 Tucker. Rear engine. Look at that. And of course, there's the. There's some collectibles from the movie. Back there. 
there's a DeLorean. <laughs> and they got Doc Brown in there. Back to the Future. Of course, this doesn't have the Back to the Future guts. Now this is Herbie from the Love Bug movies, and this is an original from the first two movies. Love Bug with Dean Jones and Buddy Hackett. Oh my. The Swigert Antique Car Museum was founded by William Swigert over 120 years ago. And before the death of his son, who moved here and built this building in 1949 from the original museum in downtown Huntington, he converted it into a 501c3, so it's a non-profit now. There's a 1903 Oldsmobile. Look at some of these things. These are just amazing. Collection started over a hundred years ago. Right about the time of the turn of the century when automobiles were just getting started. Well, once upon a time, you could apparently order your car from the Sears and Roebuck catalog. There's a 1911 Sears Model K motor buggy. And over here's another Rary, the Brush. 1910 Brush Model D runabout. And an interesting thing about this 1910 Brush is in 1910, these two kids, two boys, the Abernathys, a 10-year-old and a 6-year-old brother got permission from their father to ride their horses to New York City to see Teddy Roosevelt. And on the way, they created such a stir that a car company, the Brush Company, offered to give them a car to drive home. <laughs> and the 10-year-old drove the car all the way home. <clears throat> the horseback trip took two months it only took them three weeks to get back, roads being what they were. But they were going all the way to Oklahoma. <laughs> Great story. There's a Detroit Electric, 1913 Ford. And behind this 1913 Ford pickup truck Model T is the world's largest or part of the world's largest collection of license plates. State by state, Oregon, Oklahoma, Ohio, North Dakota, and on and on and on and on and on. My goodness. Up on the wall, look at all the Pennsylvania plates up on the wall. History of the Pennsylvania license plate up there. Here's a Stanley Steamer behind me. Uh, that Stanley Steamer. There's a 1915 Ford station wagon. Depot hack is what they call it. Here's a Scripps Booth town car. Got the chauffeur up front. And the uncovered cockpit. And then there's a 1919 Brewster. Look at the size of this Pierce Arrow. There's 1919 Pierce Arrow. Boy, that car's up high. 1920 Carroll. And prosaic 1931 Ford A model. 1932 Plymouth. Quite a collection. And this is just the ones that they display on rotation. They've got many more in storage. I believe our host said over a thousand cars. Amazing. On the way in yesterday, we passed through the little village of Alexandria, Pennsylvania off of US 22 in Huntington County. 
and Alexandria was formerly known as Hart's Log, and it was an important meeting point on the old Frankstown path, which was a warrior path that the natives used before European settlement, and it continued as a major avenue for Western migration of European Americans later on in the 18th and early 19th century. There's an official Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission historical marker in front of the beautiful library. And also there's a memorial to the war dead from the American Revolution up through World War I in the front yard of the library. And behind the library is the abandoned grade of the Petersburg cutoff of the, uh, of the old Pennsylvania Railroad, which was torn up in the 1970s. The beautiful little passenger shelter still stands. That's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video and will take time to view some of our other ones.